All right, this weekend you'll be able to check out a band that's played in some of the biggest music festivals in the world, including uh, Lollapalooza. They got their start right here in Metro Detroit and joining me this morning to talk about their performance and their latest album, a sitcom afterlife are members of the band Frontier Ruckus and we're joined by uh, Matthew, Anna, David and Zach. Good morning guys. Thanks so much morning, for, uh, for uh, stepping outside with us. Yeah, you know, describe your sound to folks who haven't heard you before. Um, I, I would say folk rock would probably be like the predominant genre that we could fall under, but um, sure. kind of been going more of like an upbeat pop, poppier direction in the last album. But right. David plays the banjo, Zach plays the singing saw, there's some really kind of organic acoustic instruments, and okay. Anna sings harmonies, so it has a folky sound. Yeah. All right, what are some of your influence? Who you know, helped you create the sound? And did the city of Detroit, does that <clears throat> work into who you are as a band? Big time, yeah. I mean, just um, experience-wise, living in Detroit, growing up in the metro area is what I write about predominantly as a songwriter. But musically, Dave and I started playing bluegrass. We met at Brother Rice um, in the area, and mm -hmm. so he already played the banjo from the age of 12, and that kind of influences really like bluegrassy sound starting off. But I was listening to like Bob Dylan and Neil Young and stuff like that growing up, so it was like very lyrical and wordy. And Zach joined the band and played trumpet and all this other right. like added this whole. Um, kind of robust template of music. Of Experimental yes. sound. Less bluegrassy. Le he made a, he made a, a little less bluegrassy. Less bluegrassy. Yeah, right. Well, you know, we, and I don't think of bluegrass when I think of Detroit. You know, Detroit tends to have some harder, you know, mm. maybe some harder edges, although, of course, there's soul music mm. and all. Does any of that sort of Detroit legacy or Detroit influence in any way make it into your sound? Yeah, musically, what, what do you think? Yeah, maybe maybe I, just the, uh, the littlest bit. I mean, I would I say it's more of a suburban type of thing. On the next too, record. You know? But maybe like the Motown, like harmony and stuff mm -hmm. like that, like uh, an influence, uh, uh, importance of harmony, I think. Right. Yeah. Now, you guys are going to be heading off on a European tour. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the tour. Let's see. Where are you guys well, headed? We're, we're starting in the UK in February. We're going to go all the way, all over the UK, up to Scotland and stuff. And then we're going to. Germany. 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 He knows better than me. He's kind of <laughs> the Switzerland, dad of the band. Yeah. And then we we end in Italy, and then we and then we go to Istanbul for a, for a day, just to kind of hang out. And before you do any of that, you're going to be playing in Ann Arbor this weekend. Tomorrow. Yeah, and, and tomorrow. Where are you playing? Where can folks come see you and check you out? Uh, we're playing the Blind Pig tomorrow. Um, it's one of our favorite venues. It's one of our favorite places to play. One of our first places that we ever played in. Ann Arbor or Lansing or anything, so it's, it means a lot to us. Despite all the traveling, Michigan shows are always the best, home state shows. What makes it, why are they always the best? Well, the audience has kind of been around since we put our first album out, so they kind of understand, and we mentioned so many Michigan locales specifically, so people can understand when I'm talking about Sylvan Lake or Kego Harbor and the weird little specific places. So it's just a, they relate to it the best, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for, for coming by and joining us this morning. We wish you the best of luck on your tour. And you know, if you guys, if you want to check these guys out, it is at the Blind Pig tomorrow. Tickets still available? I hope so. Perhaps. It's, well, Perhaps. I hope so, not. Yeah. You know, I, well, I hope not if you already have your ticket, but it's tomorrow. Uh, doors open at 9 o'clock. You have to be 18 or over. Frontier Ruckus is the band. Check out their website, FrontierRuckus.com slash tour. Thank you guys so much Thank you. for joining us this Thanks. morning. Thank you. You know, when we come back, we're going to let you know uh, what we have coming up, including, well, we're going to be live from the North American International Auto Show coming up.